Hello, hi, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. So my title for this message is what God said. God said that Sodom and Gomorrah is all over again. This, this, is, this is what he says about the United States. That you are, we are, since I'm in it too, right? Sodom and Gomorrah all over again. He said there's so many, and to be honest with you, he said, and especially in the church, I'm just being real with you. Excuse me, people out there, we already know what they're going to do. And to be honest with you, they keep it real. They tell you who they are. I'm a pimp. I'm a hoe. I'm I'm a, a lesbian. I'm a this. I'm that. And 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 they, and they just do what they do. So you really can't even blame them because at least they're being real with themselves. But God say the sad part is in the church. He said there's a lot of lust. He said there's a lot of pornography. There's a lot of gay. He said all that stuff. But what he said about this is he says a lot of people are not being healed and delivered. And, and God said, you have to be healed and delivered. Some of you are really asking God, God, I, I don't want to be gay anymore. God, I don't want to be a lesbian anymore. God, I don't want to be a hoe no more. God, I, and that's for men and women. God, I, I don't want to do this no more. God, I don't want to do that no more. But God say, are you sick and tired of being sick and tired? Because only when you're sick and tired of being sick and tired can you be healed <laughs> and delivered. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Healed and delivered. Because a lot of you, sometimes you get healed, but you don't get delivered. What is healing? You, you've dealt with that thing to where it's not messing with your mind. Healing, this is what healing stance means. Tormenting. You know, you keep, let's say you got molested, like I got molested when I was 12 years old, right? So, let's say you get molested, and, and every time somebody talks to you, you bring it up, you bring it up. You're not healed in the mind or the heart because you keep bringing that thing up. So, that's where healing comes from. I think I need to understand. And, of course, it's, it's um, you know, sick and, sick and disease, you know what I'm saying? So, it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, that is where the healing comes from. God heals your body. He, he heals your mind. He heals your thinking. He heals your heart. He heals, he heals your body. So the healing, that's an aspect of it. But the greater aspect is, now you must be delivered. Well, how do I get delivered? You gotta st If you know you're an alcoholic, why are you going to the bar? Why are you going to the sports bar? You know you're an alcoholic, stay away from the sports bar. If you know you're a hoe, stay off the street at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. Come on, somebody. Quit looking at big Judy booty butt. And, and, uh, and you too, Sam, Sam. Keep quit looking at Lakeisha. You know, Lakeisha, you know, and, and some of y'all bisexual and all that. You have to pray. Let me tell you something. This is what I did. Because I got processed too. Because wait a minute. I ain't just saying it. I was some of those things back then too. Come on, somebody. I literally. And how you get delivered and processed and how you get healed. First of all, you got to repent. Most of you don't want to, I ain't doing that. Come on, somebody. Everybody know you're doing it. Stop, 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 stop. You don't want to know, no. Or you don't want to want to deny it. So you got to stop being in denial. Okay, God, I got this problem. Teach me how to deal with it. And then some of you don't want to tell nobody in the church. And I understand because the church talk too much. You might hear it across the pulpit, which I'm going to tell you right now. Any pastor, preacher, apostle, whatever, you are not supposed to preach in anybody's pulpit, even on here, about people, unless God give it, God, God tell you, to, as I does say the Lord, or God give you permission, you're out of order. Stick to what God said in that pulpit. Some of y'all be throwing slings, or that's not of God. That's witchcraft. That's witchcraft because everybody know who you're talking about. That's witchcraft, and you and you you a witch or you're a warlock in the story. But what you have to do is be real with your God, and then even lay hands on yourself, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Please make me strong to where I, I, I don't see what I see with my eyes, God. And then if I see it, I'll turn my head, Father God. I don't hear what I hear. You know, because the enemy, oh, look, 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 look. You have to ask for mental strength. That's why a lot of you are not succeeding in the things that you want to succeed in. You're not asking for mental strength. Well, Apostle, how do I ask for mental strength? Easily. But now mental strength goes with will. You got to stop doing what you, you know, and I'm going to be transparent because y'all need that. Man, I never thought I would stop drinking. I'm talking about I started being an alcoholic at 12 years old when I was molested. I didn't know. I, I didn't know. And I'm talking about real alcohol, moonshine, anything. I, 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 I drank you if you was an alcohol back in the day. You know, I'm just being honest. And that was the last thing to go. And I was like, oh, my God, why? He said, because you loved it so much because it was a crutch for you. Every time something happened, you want to feel a little better. You want to feel good. And that's what's happening with some of you. It's not that you want to do that. You feel you need to do that because it, it, it coached the feeling. It's like a Band-Aid, but, it, but it's not curing you. It's just a Band-Aid that's temporary relief. Come on, somebody. You, know, you understand what I'm saying? So you have to go deeper with this. And, and to be honest with you, you might even have to talk to somebody. You know, talk to, I, God, God will tell you who you can trust because you need to talk to somebody. You can't just do this by yourself. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And yes, sometimes God do deliver people right on the spot miracles. But most of the time there is a process. 
And some of you, and it's not, no, it's not easy. Some of you thinking, oh, well, God, why can't you just take it from me? Because I said the same thing. I said, God, come on now. He, no, that, sometimes it don't work like that. Sometimes you have to do the work. And that's uh, y'all don't want to do the work, so y'all hide. Stop hiding and start start facing. You know, if you can never win if you don't face it. Come on, somebody. You got to face your giant. That's what David did. You got to face that giant. I don't care if you got a slingshot and three smooth stones. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God would give you. What you need to overcome. But what you got to do is you, you got you to want it. Do you want to be healed? Do you want to be saved? Come on somebody, hallelujah. So, uh, it, it's, it's just straight cut. God is saying there's too much lust. And it is. I, I'm, I see it. I see it. It's like, I don't know what church is going to become. I don't even like to go. I'm, I'm, I might as well just be real with you. I don't even like to go in the bills anymore. Because I see too much. It's like, it's like everybody trying to, you know, dress best and then oh do you see what she have on i mean are you serious who cares what she have on i don't care i don't care what he got on you know what i'm saying so it's like it, it's no it's, it's not longer about god and the spirit of god it's about entertainment oh she sung that song oh he told up that song oh they preached ah who got the healed and delivered who came to christ and then hold on i don't even like to ask who came to Christ because anybody could just for that moment feel guilty and be like okay i'm giving my life to christ who is staying consistent? Who is really being healed and delivered? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. You gotta be real with yourself, people. You gotta be real with yourself. That's why the church don't have no power. And then to be honest with you, you got the leaders that's having sex on the side. I'm gonna tell you a situation that I knew personally. I ain't gonna say no names because God didn't tell me to. And and I could never understand why this pastor did this. So he had this these two ministers on staff. And they they were sleeping together. He knew they were sleeping together. So apparently, I guess he told him, he said, y'all gonna have to get married. And they went on and got married. Not everything perfect, right? Wrong. Because now, because he never addressed it, that issue gonna come again. I'm telling you what spiritual laws, baby. That stuff gonna come up again because if you don't, uh, if you don't address what happened, I'm telling you, the enemy says, fine, I'll lay dormant. That's that residue spirit. Y'all hear what I'm saying? He never addressed what happened because this is what he should have done. Both of them should have been set down and exposed. End of story. Not trying to hurt nobody, but I bet you ain't going to play with God again or me. All three of them is under condemnation right now, and they don't even understand it. They don't even understand it because they, they, they're doing what they want to do. Because you think you, you think you hear something. You know, think about it. You think you hear something and, and just float it along. That thing going to come up again. That's how the devil does. I'm telling you, that's how the devil traps people because you don't deal with that thing and the devil say, that's right, we're we going we gonna, we, we gonna to act like we sleep for now. But we, we'll see you later. He like Debo. You know Debo on Friday? You're you going to just tuck in your chain. You know he's going to see your chain, right? Oh, come on somebody, hallelujah. He's going to yank that chain. And then what you going to do? Go in the car and drive and cry, right? <laughs> I'm trying to be funny because I know sometimes I come so hard, but I'm just, I'm really concerned and God is concerned. You can do this. You have to be strong. You have to want. I wanted to get. And I'm talking about I've been on drugs. I got everything. It was hard. It was not easy. But I did it with the help of God and being transparent to people. I didn't lie. And of course, I didn't go places I shouldn't go. And, and I'm, I'll tell you another thing, too. I didn't hang with people that I used to hang with. Everything has to change. In order to get to a level that you have never been at, you're going to have to do things differently. What do they call it when you keep doing the same thing? Insanity, right? It is. Because you keep doing the same thing and it's not working. And then you want to get mad at God. Like God and God's like, I told you what to do and how to do it. You want to do it your way. And, and that's the truth. Most people want to do it their way. You talk too much. You talk too much. You tell everybody instead of do. Try less talking and more, okay, God, give me the strength to do what I have to do. Because God wants you healed. God, God, don't want, God don't want everybody just to die and go to hell. Not everybody. Demons, though, they're going to catch fire. So you have to be real. You have to be transparent. You have to stop denying the thing. And you have to address the thing. That's how you get healed and delivered. But I'm telling you right now, you got to examine yourself, people, because time is short. I, I know it don't look like it, but it should feel like it because the spirit don't lie. Oh, come on, somebody. It look like the world just... And then, I don't even know if y'all know this because, you know, I, I can see in the spirit, so it's kind of different if you can't see in the spirit. It look like a big old darkness everywhere I go, every state I go. And it's like a, it's like it's not even real anymore. It's like, I can't even explain it to y'all. I'm like, it's really happening. Y'all don't see it? You don't see the darkness? Even in people. Even in people. You, you don't see that they're getting evil and evil and they don't, they don't even care if you know. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. 
So, um, like I said, I just I stick to the script. So God bless you. I pray, you know, and I'm, I'm going to say a prayer. I pray for everybody. So everybody just stretch your hands, those that need to be healed and delivered. Father God, we come to you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We come before the throne of grace. Father God, we ask you right now, Father God, just because we have grace, Father God, doesn't mean that we have to abuse grace. So, Father God, I pray anybody that's in the sound of my voice, Father God, this is your child, this is your child, this is your son, this is your daughter, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, I pray and I come into agreement with them that if they want to change anything that's in their life, Father God, that it's not of you, Father God, I pray that you give them the mental strength, Father God, the capacity, the will, Father God, the willpower, Father God, in the name of Jesus. I pray that you also give them a wisdom and deliverance, Father God, wisdom and discernment as well, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father God, I pray that you cleanse them, purify them, consecrate them, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Satan, I put you on notice. Get out of their ear. I sever that root right now that speaks into their ear, telling them that they're not going to do this and they're going to do this. I renounce you and denounce you out of their life in the name of Jesus. I sever that assignment to the root of that thing by the Holy Ghost fire. Hallelujah. 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 And Father God, I say that, Father God, that if you can just touch them in that area, Father God, heal them in that area, Father God, deliver them in that area father god let them be whole in the name of jesus i plead the blood of jesus over their mind their soul and their body in the name of jesus oh father god i know that you can do it for you have done it for me and others father god in the name of jesus oh father god you don't have to show up you can send a word just a word a turn a situation one word father god one action father god hallelujah all you have to do is believe it and receive it in the name of jesus oh father god i pray for their faith to increase father god in the name of jesus oh father god let the scales fall of their eyes let them see who they are and whose they are father god like never before in the name of jesus father god oh hallelujah to your name god you are the great i am you are jehovah makedesh you are jehovah shalom you are jehovah rafa god you are the lord i help father god you are the lord i heal father god you are the lord i peace father god i send peace to them not a tormenting spirit for a tormenting spirit will keep telling them who they who the devil want them to be father god but Father God, I renounce and denounce that in the name of Jesus. Sever that spirit, Father God, in the spirit room, Father God, with Holy Ghost feathers of fire in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father God, free them, heal them, Father God, deliver them, Father God. Oh, hallelujah. I consider it done and I come into agreement with them. For you say, when two shall touch and agree, it shall be done in the name of Jesus. And I just thank you, Lord. We give you honor and we give you praise. And we say, it is done in Jesus' name. I apply the blood of Jesus. I apply the blood of Jesus. For it's the blood, that blood, that blood, Father God, it still has power. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say it is done in Jesus' name. Just how bad do you want it? How bad do you want it, God say? How bad do you want it? So God bless you. I pray that you are, are just just run after God with all your heart, mind, body, and soul. That's all it's about. That's all it's ever going to be about. So this is Apostle Deanna Dixon, Roll Out Soldiers.